So let's talk about some of the other option you have for how to fill a shape. I'm going to close my HUD because we're going to focus more on the inspector now. And so I've got my shape selected here. Let's just switch to my regular transform tool, make that a little bigger. And we're going to play with this a little bit now. So starting with just the fill, right? So first of all, you can turn the fill on and off. You don't have to have your shape be filled. And if it's hollow, that's going to be transparent. Well, let's go ahead and put that behind the other object there. Let me just expose my tab. And you can see whether the shape is in front of one. You know, here now I've got it's in front of both of those here. We'll put it. So now we've got one in front and one behind, right? You can see the different controls there. So you can control whether or not your, your fill is visible or not. And if it is visible, we can choose whether we want our fill to be a color or a gradient. And if it's a gradient, now we can choose, uh, we can customize this gradient to a great degree. So first of all, there are a set of presets. So if you click this little preset thing, we can choose between a bunch of preset gradients. You see there's a whole bunch of them. And you can also save your own. So you can customize these. So you can you know, choose a specific gradient. And you can even go in and modify that gradient after you've chosen it. So let's say we pick one that we like. There's a real ugly, uh, hazy pond color. Now I'm going to expand my gradient control here. And now this is the full gradient editor. And this you're going to see throughout the program, not just for shapes. There's a lot of places where you see the gradient editor. So I want to cover all the basic controls of how to modify this. So basically, there's there's three elements here. There's the top bar, and that's controlling opacity. There's the bottom bar, which is controlling your color. And the middle bar here is showing you the ultimate result. So that middle bar is showing you the, the, the you can't actually click anything in the middle bar, but that's just showing you the result. So here in the bottom, first of all, right now I've got three points. I've got a color over here, and this is this grayish color. And so you see I select the tag. We call these tags, these little boxes. And when you select the tag, you can now modify the settings for that tag. So let me just collapse that for a second to keep it real simple. So I've got this middle color, and let's say I want to change that to a different color. I can do that, and you see it updates dynamically. So as I choose a different color, that is updating to show me the result, not just here in the gradient editor, but also live right here in my canvas. So I can choose that color. If you want, as you saw, you can expand that and control your RGB element separately. If you, if you know exactly the color you're trying to go for. With between, anytime you've got one of these little tags selected, you see little handles on either side, and that lets you control how the gradient is actually drawn on one side or the other. So I can make this so that it's you know very sharp on one edge and very smooth. Let's just select the point over here and very smooth on this side. Right, so we can really customize to create really interesting and cool gradients. And of course, I can move that around to control exactly what I want to get out of that and create this nice custom thing. Add a new point by just clicking on that bottom bar. And now I get a new tag that I can set to a new color. Let's select the tag, pick a new color, and there you see I'm creating this uh, much more complex looking graphic there. Let's just smooth that out a little bit and so forth. So I'm creating a ugly but interesting uh, complex little gradient there. Let's actually delete that now. I'm just going to drag it right off. So you just click on it and drag that tag right off and it'll go away little, with a little puff, a little poof, and there you go. On the top here, we're controlling opacity. So right now, this is just a solid white bar, meaning it's just opaque the whole way. If I add another tag, again, just by clicking anywhere in that top bar, I can now set an opacity tag. So here you see now the color is dimmed out, but the opacity is now available, and I can lower that. So now this part of the air, this part of the image over here, let's actually do a little a third tag there. So I'll make the the third tag is going to be nice and visible, but we're going to have a area in the middle here that's going to be transparent. And so if I move this object up underneath there, you can see it's poking through in that transparent area. So now, here, let's go back to that shape there. The top bar here is controlling our opacity. The bottom bar is showing us the colors. And this is how you create these custom gradients. Now, there's a couple more little controls over here, over here on the right side. If you want to evenly distribute your tags, like let's say you've got a bunch of points here and they're sort of spread out in some random way, you can evenly distribute them by clicking the Distribute button. And that's the little bottom icon there with you see the little tags spread out evenly on the little icon there. And that, that evens out the distribution of all of your tags. 
You can also swap the direction of the tag. So you're going to undo. And so this is basically the top button there is swapping the left and the right. So you see we got the brighter white on the on the right right now and the duller white on the or the yellowish white over here on the left. If I click the swap button, it reverses the gradient. You can see that as well over here on the graph. So as I swap that, I reverse the shape of my gradient just like that. So a whole lot of really really elaborate controls available to you for all of your different gradients. And then if you make a gradient like this that you like, click the little gradient preset and say save preset. It's going to ask you to name that and it's going to call this ugly. And we'll save that. And now that ugly preset, there it is in my list. It's <laughs> savable down there at the bottom. Anytime if I want to get back to that, I can, you know, if I switch to another one there, there we go to a nice pretty thundercloud and then go back to ugly and there it re remembers my saved ugly gradient.